The costume shop is one of the only departments that is directly responsible for interacting with and facilitating the projects of every single other department here in the building. We also have a full-time wardrobe supervisor and shoe manager. Then we have what's called a first-hand or stitcher, and we also have a full-time craftsperson, milliner, slash stitcher. So Windows 4 specifically is getting the most refreshment and updates for this season. One of the reasons is because those items are all meant to be very pedestrian looking. They're intended to look like people on the street, but amplified. And that means that generally you're purchasing clothes out of the store and putting them on dancers' bodies. One of the challenges of using pedestrian clothes is that they're not built for the rigors of what we require of the human body. They're not performance clothing necessarily. One of the additional challenges of this piece is that everything needs to be a very specific shade, tone family of gray. Technically inspired, sleek, and shiny. When they did the piece originally, the kinds of dyes they had available to use were not quite as advanced as what we have now. So a lot of the clothing had to be made out of natural fibers. They do have a tendency to break down a lot more quickly. They don't necessarily bend and snap back as well as say a spandex or a lycra does. So now, we have new kinds of dye available to us that can actually take on some of the synthetic fibers a little bit better. And then we also have a lot of pants available to us for pedestrian wear that have so much more stretch to them. What's being expressed in the choreography is actually being expressed on their bodies and through their bodies. It really is the future of dance and the future of what we're doing here at Richmond Ballet specifically.